Hello everyone, Neff here. And I wanted to make a quick video today because I made a video in the last few days, but the one problem is it was all about biomes and the distribution and that sort of thing. Funnily enough, right after I made that video, I completely changed the whole system for biomes. So yeah, it's kind of funny. The reason being, um, like, a simple way to do biomes is with noise. And I was going to do that originally, but then I decided not to do that and instead do this really complicated thing using, like, Veronographs and stuff. And I thought that would work, that'd be a good idea. But I tried for a long time, couldn't get it working. When I made the last video, I had got it working and I thought it was fine. But then I suddenly realized this big, massive glaring problem it had. And it's like, oh, this is just not going to work. So yeah. So I mean, I probably could have worked on it for a long, you know, a while longer I got it working, but it got to the point where I was like, you know what? Screw it, let's just do noise. <laughs> so now I'm actually using like the same kind of noise used for the ground and stuff. I'm actually using it to generate the biomes as well. And the advantage of this is it's, number one, very fast. And number two, it gives you much smoother kind of like um, curves and like edges to the biomes, which is nice. Um, I've made the biomes quite small just to kind of show off, you know, different biomes in this video. But um, yeah, in the future, they can be any size, really. So yeah, let's have a look around. So as you can see in the top left, this is a grasslands biome. This is kind of like your standard, you know, plains, just plain grass, nothing special. And a few trees here and there. But if you go this way... dum 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 <laughs> we pretty much immediately run into a taiga biome. And again, you'll probably be familiar with this one from Minecraft, because this one's kind of like... It's a bit colder, but it's still quite wet. And I should mention that all the biomes are done in terms of basically just precipitation and temperature. So that's the two factors that determine it. So like, whereas the grasslands is kind of middle-ish in both, if you go a little bit colder, you get into taiga, and you have these pine trees and some snow on the ground and stuff. So yeah, it is nice. And then if we keep going, you'll notice next from the taiga we go into a tundra biome. Yeah, this is the coldest and the driest biome really. Um, it can be quite wet too, but it's usually dry. But basically this is just a massive ice biome. And the thing you'll notice is that like we came to this not from like a hot desert, but from an actual taiga biome, so it kind of makes more sense that way. And also you might notice that the transition between them is quite nice. Like there's no smooth kind of transition, but you get this nice kind of like smooth curve and it just looks good. Yeah. Indeed. And in the biome we have like ice covered snow, or snow covered ice. And just some ice underneath that. And also this kind of shows off the fact that the biomes kind of, def like when I create a biome I can just define the layers. And they can go down as far as I want to basically, but I mean, this takes about 10 blocks to hit stone, but I could very easily make it go down 30 blocks and have different types of rock and stuff, you know? I don't know, it's cool. <laughs> but yeah. The um, the sand looks a bit weird in this biome, but again, I'm just... Right now, I've just implemented the biomes, and I'm just trying to figure out what actually should go in each biome. So some look kind of weird. But yeah, so if we move on from this... Next, we'll actually hit... Yeah, so this biome here is a desert. But it's not a hot desert, this is a temperate desert, so it's kind of like... You know, in America, you'd have, like, deserts that are not, like, scalding hot. They'd still have, like, you know, just kind of, like, dirt in them and a bit of, like, dust and sand on top. Um, you might get them in Australia as well. But, um, and these are actually kind of more common, these deserts. I think, anyway. <laughs> and so this one, like I said, it kind of has this kind of dirt, kind of, like, covered in dust. I think it looks good. We also have cactuses. They look kind of terrible. But, um, yeah, they're a thing. <laughs> I did this in like five minutes. They just I know they look bad, I don't care. It's, just, it's a temporary placeholder. So yeah. Cactus. <laughs> and moving on from that. And so I mean again, the way these are done now is like beside one of these we can have a hot desert, but we won't have a hot desert beside like a tundra biome, you know, because that would make sense. And in fact, even here, this tundra technically shouldn't be here. Normally I'd actually have a cold desert here. But just for the sake of I'm messing with some stuff right now, I had that set to the tundra to show off. A cold desert is kind of like this one, but has like it's more of a sandy desert and it has like a white sand in it. Yeah, indeed. And if I keep looking around, I might find what's this one? Oh, grasslands. There's actually a few biomes right now that look the same as grasslands because I haven't set them all yet. And oh, actually, if we go over here. We find a savanna biome. So this one's also quite common as well, but this is kind of like a drier version of the grasslands. Kind of the same temperature, but much drier. And you get these kind of like trees. These are based off acacia trees. They are very, very basic right now, but they're just kind of a placeholder. I don't know. That also adds a new wood block, which is nice. I do have to change the leaves, though. Yeah. And the grass, you know, is kind of brighter and stuff. 
So like there's actually a lot of types of grass and dirt blocks because of all the different biomes. I don't tint them, like I actually make separate blocks for them. So, oh, that dirt's wrong. Whoops. <laughs> you didn't see that. I actually need to change that in this biome. It's obviously set to the normal dirt. Oh, and actually over here, it doesn't look like much right now, but this is a tropical evergreen forest. And the forest biomes, I haven't done the tree distribution yet in the biomes. So right now they all kind of have the same amount of trees, but in the future, uh, biomes that say forest will have a lot of trees. And this one will have kind of like, you know, big kind of jungle trees. So that'd be nice. And the grass is really lush. So yeah. So that's kind of like a brief overview of a bunch of the biomes. And they're all very natural right now. Like down the road, I'll add more like, you know, kind of unnatural biomes. Like I really want to have, say, biomes that are based off of like factors other than weather. Like gameplay features, like say a spooky biome and stuff like that, you know? That'd be cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. I kind of just want to show this off, just because, um, as I said, right after the last video, I changed everything, so I thought I should do a quick update. But um, yeah, that's that. And also, the game is running much faster now, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is actually the large render distance, and this gives me like. This is 35 FPS on fraps, you know? Without fraps, it's like 50, so that's pretty good. And yeah. So that's all for now, guys. And good day!